What do you think of that? Pretty impressive engineering, isn't it? Hey guys, when I bought the new Tesla Model S Long Range earlier this summer, I got a lot of questions from people asking how the Long Range is different from the Plaid, both mechanically and cosmetically. Back then, I really didn't have any answers, and these cars have been delivered in such small numbers that no one has really had an opportunity to compare them. Well, I now have here a Long Range and a Plaid. So in this video, we're going to shine some light on them and play a game of Spot the Difference. Let's get the cosmetic stuff out of the way first. If you see a new Model S on the road, how do you know if it's a 9 second car or a 10 second car? Easy. The long range has no badge on the back. The Plaid has one worth $2.04. It also has a carbon fiber spoiler. What else? Oh yeah, that, that's it. So to 99% of people on the road, these cars are the same. On the inside, there is one minor difference. In the long range, the seats are all one color. The Plaid has contrasting piping. And you can see this in the parts catalog. The seat covers have options for base and performance, in addition to the colors. My wife actually had a moment the other day where she was out with the kids and forgot which car she was driving. They reminded her that if the car has black piping on the seats, it's the Plaid. This is how I know the boys are most definitely mine. There is one other difference that I found, at least between these two cars. This front door trim piece on the long range is matte black. On the plaid, it's gloss black. I have seen other plaids with the matte black trim, so this may just be a production inconsistency. So those are all the cosmetic differences. Let's pop the hoods and dive in. Removing the front to expose all the mechanical stuff was fairly straightforward. The surrounding trim panels simply pop off, and then you remove the lining to expose the four bolts that hold the tub to the chassis. Everything visible so far is the same between the cars. Part numbers are the same. The sequence numbers are interesting to see. I bought the long range six weeks before the Plaid, and yet its sequence number is lower. Not sure why that is. They both have this new super beam, which doubles as a structural member and an air tank for the air suspension. There's also what they call the super manifold, which is a fancy way of saying heat pump. There's an active lower grille that opens and closes depending on how much airflow the cooling system needs. The front motors in the two cars look the same, and they very well could be. In the parts catalog, they have slightly different part numbers, but the schematic and pricing are the same at $4,000. This could be similar to the Model 3, where the dual motor and performance versions share the same motors. The only visual difference between the motors is the labeling. The long range has a base motor, while the Plaid gets a sport motor. One of the biggest questions people have had has to do with the carbon sleeves and the Plaid motors. People have wondered if the long range also has them. Considering that the front motors in these cars are basically the same, I would say that it's very likely, at least in the front. The back is where things begin to look very different. I had to raise the cars to get access to the rear motors. I don't have a lift, but that doesn't stop me from doing anything crazy in the past. For this video, these ramps will get the job done. With the back end of the car up in the air, I got underneath and removed the plastic under tray, exposing the rear drive unit. Here's the rear single motor in the, in the long range, and here's the Plaid with its monster two motor setup. That is a big boy. Wow. Unlike the front, they are very different. In the parts catalog, the Plaid drive unit is valued at over $9,000, while the long range motor is only $2,500. This is very interesting. The rear motor in a dual motor Tesla is typically larger and more powerful than the front. This is probably true in this car, but somehow the rear motor costs a lot less than the front motor. This suggests that the rear motor in the long range does not have the carbon sleeves while the front motor does. I would love nothing more than to open this thing up and find out, but I like my warranty the way it is. Another interesting thing is the battery packs in these cars are the same. There's only one pack for the Model S, referred to as the Plaid Pack. You can see here how the Plaid has separate high voltage connectors for each motor. On the long range, only one connector is actually used. You can see the second connector here with nothing hooked up to it. 
So from what I've seen, the only real mechanical difference between the long range and the plaid is the rear drive unit. Just about everything else is the same. They share the same subframes, front and back. They have the same suspension. Even the tires are the same. You could almost say that the long range is like a plaid light. It's the same car with a different rear drive unit. So if I was to stumble upon a spare plaid rear drive unit, well, I'm just going to leave it at that. I do like my warranty the way it is. It'd be very tempting to find out if you could just bolt one up to the long range and actually make it work. I'm probably not going to be that person, but I'm putting the idea out there for someone crazy enough to try. And that's as far as I'm going to go, at least for now. If you have any questions or would like to see any further comparisons, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to respond. Thanks for watching.